All right, everybody. I'm starting now, swear. <laughs> All right, tonight coming into a standing posture, I want to just create, um, I just wanna create a feeling of relaxation in the flow tonight. Um, this month I wanna focus on flexibility and it seems kind of weird that I'm talking about flexibility when we practice yoga, but um, we've been doing a lot of uh, fusion classes and sometimes we get away from just the pure yoga flow and um, and kind of, well, at least for me, I was, you know, you forget about just how much it does for the joints and the connective tissue. We're mostly connective tissue um, that wraps our muscles. So. Um, just getting back into a pure yoga practice for a little bit here and seeing if we can feel the difference in our um, in our mobility so with your feet about hip distance apart just come stand at the top of your mat and bring your palms together in prayer just bring your hands your thumbs right to your forehead and just begin to open the elbows and just open the heart up as you lift your heart open your heart and stretch the arms Gavina. and then bring your hands back together and come into neutral. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. As you inhale, we're gonna bring the thumbs back up to the forehead, inhaling, opening the arms wide. And as you exhale, just come right back into that neutral. And gaze down at the fingertips. Do it once, one more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, coming right back into neutral. Good, right into forward fold, bend your knees. I'm gonna get sideways here. You guys stay right at the top of your mats, bend your knees. And then just pause for a moment. Elbows, opposite hands, opposite elbows, just drawing towards the earth, dropping in, breath in, and breath out. And just lift the toes, lowering the toes, feeling the feet. One more breath, take a breath in, halfway and a breath out and melt. Good, and then place the hands down and bring your hands, bring your knees down to the earth, pressing back into wisdom pose. Softening back, to the, back into the heels. Good, and then just begin to stretch. So just lengthening through the arms, Feel the palms pressing on the mat. And then as you come forward into your plank here, knees down, pull back through your hips, keeping your palms flat and just feel the stretch without really doing anything. Just, just length, just, just by pushing your hips back to your heels. Coming back forward, take a breath in and a breath out, pull back. Twice more, inhaling, come forward, and exhaling, come back. One more time, glide forward, and exhale back. Good, now put your elbows onto the earth and just slither on out, coming into forearm, coming onto your forearms, just let the hips settle down. Good, and as you lower down, melting down to the earth, pressing the palms into the floor. And just as you push down, feel the activation of the arms. Again, not overdoing, just lift your arm, kind of underneath your armpits, lift up the shoulders, pressing down through the palms. Take a breath in, and then exhale and melt to the earth. Good, now let's get right into that side body, rolling over to your left side. Top leg, just lays on the bottom leg, and just feel the length here stretching, just laying your body on the earth. Take a breath, breathe up into that left side, and breathe down into the earth with an exhale. And then roll back to the center body, and then exchange. Our right arm's gonna Reach up and you're gonna to roll to your right side. Take a breath in and a breath out. If you rest your head, just feel the long body on the earth. Take another breath in 
and breath out and then come back over to the belly. Good, draw the arms back in. And then instead of going to Cobra, pull your belly in and lift your hips up. Leave your chest on the floor. You'll feel your knees slide a little bit and then melt your heart or melt your belly down. And then do it again. Pressing down through the knees, lift your hips, pull your belly up and in. And then exhale right down, belly to the floor. And then thighs rest on the earth. Do it one more time. Pressing down through your knees, lift your hips, take a breath in and a breath out. Good, and from here, just push yourself back. Just push down to your hands and lift up nice and easy and push back to your heels. Good, and then come forward, inhale, glide forward, low plank and pull back into wisdom. Do that twice more. Inhale, exhale, and then one more time in and out. Good. Coming to tabletop, find downward facing dog. Pedal your feet out one at a time. Rolling down through the side of your feet, from the balls of your feet, down the side of your feet, kind of roll your feet out. Relax your head. Good. Take a breath. Exhale out. Begin to connect into your mind, like center, coming into your mind center. With each breath, bringing the, bringing the oxygen up to your brain, relaxing into the hands, into the earth. Bend your knees a little bit. Walk your feet to the top and rise up nice and strong. Inhale the arms up. Take a breath. Look up. Palms come together and right into forward fold. Bend back down into your fold. Halfway lift. Inhale and then exhale, forward fold. Good, left foot's gonna step back and come into lunge pose. Supporting yourself on the earth with your fingertips, lifting and lowering your hips, and try not to take it to the extreme, right? So you wanna just stay in that nice range where you're just feeling really comfortable, nice and strong in your feet, strong in your core. Bring that knee down and then shift right back to half split. Flex your foot. And then take a breath in, come forward. And then take a breath out and go back. Coming forward, inhaling. And back, exhaling. Next time forward, hold. And then walk your hands up to your, your knee. And then just bring, begin to bring your left arm up and flow the hips as you take the arm around in a mandala. Moving your arm and start to lasso, right? So arcing the arm over and just do what you're ready for. So if your body feels a little crunchy, a little restrictive, just don't, don't make it so big. Don't make it so deep. Just, just do what you're ready for. And then start to flow the arm across the horizon from side to side. And you can back up a little bit or you can drop in a little bit, right? Whatever you're, whatever you're ready for. If you've been shoveling already today, maybe you're a little sore already in the arms. All right, and then just take the left arm up high, take a breath. Remember for our psoas stretch, we keep our our left hip over our left knee, so extend strong here. Take a breath in, breathe right up that center channel. Add the right arm, and then exhale, take the hands back behind, and take a shoulder stretch here. Soften through the back shoulders, stretch through the front heart, take a breath, and only if you're ready for it, just drop in a little deeper into that lunge. Release your hands, bring your arms back up again, take a breath, palms come together, and then ease on back down to the earth, hands to the earth, and then right foot goes back, right, tabletop here, come into Anahata, melt the heart. Again, not overdoing, pressing the palms to the earth, lifting up through the armpits, you can even 
Inhale and lift the torso. Exhale, lower the torso a little. Coming in and out of the shapes. Imagine massaging and opening, softening. Slither forward on your belly. Left arm's gonna slide out, roll to the left side. Stretch your long, bend, bottom leg's gonna bend, and then lift your top leg up, bend your top leg. Good. And then start to internal and external rotate that hip. Drop your knee forward and open. Send the leg high, take a breath, flex your foot, and then bring both legs back together here. Go back to the center, right onto your belly. Take a mini cobra here, just inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, and then do that hip thing we did. Pull, keep your chest down, lift your hips, knees stay on the earth, is what it looks like. And then lower the hips. Do one more cobra here, little baby, inhale, and exhale, lower, and then do a little hip raise, knees down, hips up, and then everything down. Right side, right arm's gonna stretch, Roll to your right side, bend your bottom leg as a little stand, and then inhale to your top leg up. Bend, and then start to do that internal, external rotation. You just feel the rotation here. Again, do what you can, right? Breathe in and breathe out. And then extend that top leg. Bring it towards you, toes towards the head. And just do little pulsations here. Three, two, and one. And then roll back to your belly. And palms press. Slide your hands back. And then we're gonna push up into that plank. Leave your knees down tonight. Inhale. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Breath in. And breath out. Just drop your heels to the earth. Soften down, just bend your knees as much as you need to. Take another breath here, full breath in, full breath out. And then begin to walk your hands up to your hands, walk your feet to your hands, stand up tall, inhale, sweep the arms, take a breath in, and then exhale, come into your forward fold, exhale, dump it out, bring in your chest a little closer to the legs, legs to the chest, relax long through the neck, halfway up and then the right foot's gonna step back coming into lunge pose again do it do what you can here lifting and lowering your hips and getting into that mindset of you don't have to go all the way at once here just ease into it don't hold your back yourself back either good and where you feel a little bit of restriction, try to contract that area. So for instance, if you have a tight hamstring, give it a little contraction when it's in, when you're trying to stretch it, just contract it. So squeeze up through the bottom of the hamstring and then release it and drop in. And you'll find that you get a little bit more, maybe a little bit more um, cooperation. Good. And then back knee comes down, dropping into that low lunge, and you can add that arm circle here on the right side. Just begin to rotate the arm around. You can add the lasso in if that feels good too. So we're just getting, getting our arm moving. Take a breath in, breath out. And then side to side across the horizon, just sweeping across. One more breath in, and then we'll go right into that psoas stretch, lifting right arm comes up, hips come back, belly sit firm, come, bringing the hips right over that knee, stretch really strong here, and then breathe up again, the center line of the body, inhaling at the left arm. Exhale, sweep the arms back behind, and take a nice arms to opener here, chest opener, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. You can drop in if your body says yes. Good. Breathing, stretching. If not, stay back. 
Good. And then inhale, both arms up. Exhale, come back down. Bring your arms back down. Plant that hand. And then left leg comes right on back. Anahata. Set your knees right under hips. And then melt down. As you breathe in, come up out of it a little. And as you exhale, you're gonna go back down towards the floor. And again, easy, easy, easy. Feel yourself just floating, rising and melting in and out of the shape. And just imagine your body trusting you more each time, your joints trusting the process. Good. And then slither forward onto your belly. Left arm's gonna extend out, roll to your left side. Bottom knee bends, top leg bends, and then bring your knee towards you. This time, catch it, catch a knee, catch on and pull in. And then turn the leg in, and then turn it back out again, pull it back in again. And then one more time, in. And this time, as you have that rotated, see if you can catch your foot or ankle. Just introduce quad stretch here, take a breath. And exhale. Good. Here again, you're trying to get that quad to lengthen. Give yourself a little, see if you can squeeze your quad. Squeeze the quad. Imagine yourself contracting your quad, your thigh, and then relax your thigh. And then see if you can get a little bit more extension. Good. Take another breath in. Breathe into the shape. And release that top leg. Bring it down. Come back to center. We were just in a back bend, so let's just do a little bit of a counter pose here. We're gonna press our knees down, lift your hips up, and then bring your hips back down again. Bring your elbows in and round your spine. And then come back down again. We're gonna do that one more time. This is the first time we've done it. Palms, uh, forearms press down, or side arms press down, and then just round away from the floor pulling your belly in and then come all back down again. All right, let's do the other side. Right arm's gonna stretch right side, roll to your right side, bend your both legs, pull your left knee in. Got a nice external rotation here and then go internal rotation and then external pull it in and then internal and then you're gonna take, catch your ankle or foot and turn and right into your quad stretch Pull your foot towards your booty, and then squeeze your thigh. Just contract your thigh, see if you can do that. Contract, and then relax your quad, and look for a little bit more opening maybe, just moving through this process. Take a breath in, breath out, and then release your leg back to center. Mini Cobra, inhale. And exhale down to the floor. Good. Push yourself up to your plank. And then push back into wisdom pose. Soften. Good. Breath in. And breath out. All right, coming forward into table. Rise up to downward facing dog. And now we're going to add, we're going to start bringing it up. Right leg comes up. Take your right leg up, bend your right knee, and roll it open. Dancing warrior. Drop a heel, push into the earth, take a breath in, spread the toes and fingers, feel. Exhale out. Looking forward, you're gonna step forward, right? And come into warrior one. Bring the arms up, back heels planted, and rising right up out of those feet. Take a breath. Exhale out. Good. Pushing into the back foot. Expanding the arms up. Breathe in. And breathe out. So you feel that expansion here. Breathing in. If you want to straighten that front leg, go for it. Breathe in. Open up. Open up. Look back. Look up. Look back. Reach back a little bit. Two. And one. And then bring the arms right back up alongside your ears. Palms come together. Bow down. And then go ahead and plant that front arm on the front leg as you bring your left hand down. And we'll twist it. Rotate and breathe. Reach and stretch. 
again, staying connected with the body, watching the body move along, and encouraging it, thinking about just being there, building this relationship. Right? We move, yoga moves us from our body to our mind, back to our bodies, and this is the relationship, right? Stretch open, and then bring the hands back down. Now spin that back heel up, and right, you, now you're in lunge pose. We're gonna bring the back knee down, kick back to half split. Feel the press of the front heel as you melt towards the front leg. Holding here, reaching, reaching through that left arm as you reach back the right hip. Now again, let's play here. Contract your right quad. Contract your right quad, feel. Maybe watch your kneecap lift a little bit, and maybe you can feel your left, uh, you're contracting your right quad, feel the right hamstring. You can feel the length, pull up on the right hamstring, contract the right hamstring, and now relax everything. And then slither forward for lizard pose. Hands inside the front foot, dropping into lizard, not so deep, but bending your elbows, and straightening and feel and again, you can bring your hips out and go back in again. All good. Left arm down if you can. Rock your hips side to side and add the twist. Right arm comes up, lean back a little bit. Open this, the hands, the palms to receive. Take a breath. And exhale and melt. Good, that front foot's open a little bit. Dial it open. Let the right leg just be relaxed. And then change. Both hands down. Walk yourself back up into straight arms. And now this time, flat foot back there. Press your foot down and lift your leg straight if you can. So we're pressing, extending long through the front left side of the body, from the left hip, right down that left leg, pressing down, lifting up, pressing down through that foot. Three, two, and one. And then bring your left knee down. Slide your hips back and release your right leg back. Anahata, melt to the earth. One breath, inhale, lift up. Exhale, melt down. And then slither forward on your belly, coming into forearm plank. Knees stay down. Pull up and round your spine. And then right back down into that forearm plank, knees down. One more time, pull up through the belly, round your spine. And then right back down to the earth. Relax, left arm, left side. Pull your knee in, both knees bend, pull your knee in. Slide down the shin bone, rotate and take the foot. And feel, start to kick your foot back now, a little bit as the side bow, spread the toes, spread the fingers. Breath in, breath out. back to your belly. Keep that right leg up, bent. This time you're going to take your left hand, slide it behind your back, and roll to your right side and try to get your left hand to your right foot. And just pull. Good. Take a breath in and a breath out. And back to center. Take a little cobra pose, inhale. And exhale to the earth. Let's do that little hip raise again. Knees down, lift your hips. And exhale. And then do the forearm round press. Push, push your forearms down, round your spine, and coil into your cat, forearm cat. And exhale back down again. Do that one more time. Push down. Exhale, round coil. And then back down to the earth. Right side, slide your right arm out, roll to your right side. Pull your left knee in. Slide your hand right down that shin bone and rotate into half bow, this side. Take a breath. And exhale out. 
Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale. And then bring, your, bring yourself back onto your belly, but leave that left leg up. You're gonna roll over, and now the right hand takes the foot. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Breathe in. And breathe out. Rest your head, one more breath, breathe in. Just let your body melt into this. Feel the changes, feel the adaptions here as you kind of twist and turn your way through this. Take a breath. And relax into it, whatever you find. And then back to center. Releasing everything to the earth, rest a moment. Press down through the back of your hips and feel your pubic bone press into the earth. And stretch long through the arms. Good. Lift your hands up, leave your wrist on the floor, and then pressing down, slide your hands back and push yourself up to plank. And then back to downward facing dog. Relax your head. Sway your hips side to side. Let's bring the left leg up. Take a breath in. Bend that knee and rotate to the left. Looking to the left. Spread your fingers, spread your toes. Breathe. So as you feel your body releasing and opening, let your mind settle in there. Be there. The body trains the, trains the mind. The mind trains the body. Take a breath in. Now look forward, you're going to step into warrior one. Good. Just find your breath. Just begin to notice your breath. Notice how you're breathing. Mind is right there with the breath. back behind. Give yourself a little shoulder opener. Good. Releasing the hand up, back up. Feel the stretch from your back leg up the both arms. Pushing down. Oh, palms come together. Find your, just rest on that front leg for a moment. And get the reset of that the spine that changes. Bring your hand back down again. Let's give a twist here. Reaching up to the, to the sky, pushing through the back leg. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. And you can start to work that foot now open. Just dial the toes off to the left. See if you can offer a little bit more opening into that hip. Expanding from your sternum bone, from your heart center, just expand out. So we learn to work from center out. Always move from center. And then change back. Both hands come down. Back knee is going to come down. And then just right into your half split here. And nail the front heel down. Breathe. And then contract your muscles here. Contract your underside hamstring. Contract your quad. And feel a pull tug up the top of the leg. In, sinking into the glute muscle. Toes are going to go to the sky. Contract and then release. And contract and release. And then come on forward into lizard. Walk forward. Dial that foot as much as you can. Let the leg just relax without forcing. And you're staying with your breath, right? As I continue to chatter away, y'all just stay with your breath. Just move into it, move through it, and enjoy. Start to work yourself down into your right elbow if you can. If not, that's all right. Just stay where you are. And you come back into your twist, offering bit of that again that trust relationship between your body and your mind 
not getting ahead of each other, but staying right in sync. Let your breath come in there too. And to make your way back up, and then press your hips back a little bit, coming out of it slow. Coming back into it forward with your foot more parallel we're going to work that back foot, lifting your back knee, straightening and pressing down. We just stretch the, the foot out. If you get a cramp, just come out of it, go back in it. Good. And then we're going to move hips back and then we're going to shift to Malasana. So keep working into that front leg. Make your way onto the side of your mat. You don't want to turn into the right. And then you're going to be able, you're going to bring your, bring yourself back into a stretch here. So coming down, but just getting your heart towards the floor. Right? And you see what I'm doing? My left leg's stretched out, my foot's flat. And then I just have my, my other foot, my right leg behind me. So I've switched my whole body along on the long side of my mat. And I'm working myself into, and we're going to work towards gate pose. So bowing down and working the inside of that left leg. My cat just ran through here. Inhaling, come up, inhale, right knees down, and then just side bend over to the left side. So you're going to be pressing down through that left foot and extending long through the left side. And just extend long towards the left foot, left leg. Take a breath in and sway your body over the top. And then inhale, coming back across. And keep the breath moving as we flow the body here, side to side. We're going to take it into gate pose here. So as you flow, we're tapping your floor with the right hand. And then eventually we're going to come right back right into gate. So drop your right hand down and bring your your left leg up, left arm. So take a breath, reach tall, and then exhale, come out, and swing on back to the side body here. And then back to center. Take a breath in, inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, come down to the earth. Good. And then turn back to that left foot top of the mat. There we are. Come forward, release out. Sneak in a little bit of a lizard stretch, and then we'll swing the left leg back around and come right back into wisdom pose. Take a breath in, rise up table, and breath out back to wisdom pose. Do that twice more. Inhale, flow into table, and exhale back into wisdom pose. Good. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Slither forward on your belly. Forearm plank, knees down. Round your spine, round your coil. And back down into forearm plank. One more time. Exhale, round your spine. And exhale. Bring those core muscles, activate your core muscles. Pull your sides of your core in. So from the sides right here, pull like your corset. Pull yourself in and then pull your belly button towards spine. And then lift your hips around your spine and then right back down into your neutral. One more time. You do that. Pull your corset in, round your spine, chin, chest, and then right back down to your neutral. All the way down to the earth. Just melt. Good. Slide your hands back in. Come into Cobra. Breath in, stretch the heart forward from your pubic bone, stretch, 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 elbows draw to hips, and then exhale down. All right, so take it to an up dog if you want, if you're feeling it in your body tonight. Point your toes, flat feet, and then you're gonna inhale, straighten your arms, and see how my feet are flat, my legs, everything's kind of relaxed. I'm just kind of there, my arms are really strong, holding myself here, and then I'm gonna use that same action we just practiced, core, pull up and in, and then guide yourself back down 
control it. Okay, do that same motion we just did. Pull your corset in, belly pulls in, and you're gonna pull yourself back, and then right back into your, your relaxed upward facing, okay? Now, if you're not here, if y'all are down here in your cobra, you can still work that move that we just worked on, okay? Upward facing dog people, press your, your, your feet down and straighten your legs. Take a breath in, fill the heart, exhale, and then knees come down to the earth, all the way down to the earth. Good. Relax. All right, you guys, you need a nice, strong push-up, right? Take a breath. Flex your feet. Take a breath. I'm going to push right up. Exhale the air out. And then downward facing dog. Alrighty, let's take the right leg high, breath in, step forward, come right into lunge pose. Bring your arms up nice and tall, back heels up now for lunge. Take a breath, we're gonna be up, moving up and down with breath. And then come into humble, just lower your torso down, support yourself, take a twist, and drop the back heel and turn the front foot. Expanding right up through the front from the left hand all the way up to the right. Take a breath in and breathe through the chest. Exhale out. And then back to lunge. Come right back into lunge. Now you're gonna to turn to the left and we're gonna do the other foot, right? So right foot's gonna turn and you're gonna get into that gate pose on this side, side to side. And just kind of move through each feet are parallel and you're moving side to side. Good. And then bending your right knee, just bring your left, just turn back to the top of your mat. Bring your left knee down and shift back. Now we're gonna to turn to the, to the left and we'll be back into the gate pose on this side. And just start to melt your heart down. And pressing down, stretching out. And then bringing your arms up over the head. Side to side with the arms towards the leg, breathing in and breathing out. And then making our way, left fingertips, right arm comes up and stretching long through that right side. The more we stretch out the sideways, the more we can get into our a full range through the back, through the spine. Take a breath and exhale. And then strong back to start. Good. And then just bring both your knees to the earth and we'll turn back to the top of the mat. Coming into wisdom pose. Gaze forward, slither forward onto your belly. Cobra pose here. Inhale, we're upward facing. And then downward facing dog. Exhale. Lift and lower your heels a couple times. Bring your left foot forward. Lunge pose here on this side. Lift and lower your hips. Rise up to strong lunge, bring the arms up, root your heels, or root your, your front heel and your back ball of foot, stretch up, reach up. Coming into humble, bow down, and then revolve it, drop your back heel, spin your front foot and open up. 
with a breath in and a breath out. And then back to start. Back heel comes down. facing dog, walk your feet to the top of your mat, and rise. All right, balance postures, and then we hit the floor. Shifting to the right leg, bring your left knee up. Remember, I'm opposite, you guys. Bring your arms up. Reach down, left hand to left knee. Slide down the shin bone and take the big toe, or you can just stay right here. Separate leg stretch. All directions now. Expand out and open up. Fill the heart with breath, mind with hope. top leg. Eagle pose. Left arm, left leg on top, left arm on the bottom. And press your palms together. Push down into the floor from your hips. And draw everything in center. Take a breath in. Squeeze the palms. Squeeze your legs. Contract everything. Make a tight little container here. Three, two, and one. And then back to center. Palms together, feet together. Let's go for the other side. Right knee comes up, both arms up. Good. Take your hand, find your knee. Be there. That might be it for today. You can stretch here. Otherwise, slide down. Hook your big toe with your peace sign fingers and then pull up and in. Pull up and in. Container contained. Side waist comes in, reach, and then kick, and breathe. Open out to the side. Be willing to fall. <laughs> Expand. But don't lose your center, don't lose your floor. Right, you're just, you're placing yourself in space, and then feel. back to center. Eagle pose. Right, right leg on the top, right arm in the bottom. Palms press. Squeeze everything together. Root. Breathe. Looking right past through your hands. Squeeze everything to center and sit a little deeper. Two and one. And then release. Feel the hands press. Beautiful standing work. Bring your thumbs to that third eye. And just ask yourself, how willing are you to change? Feel the attitude of flexibility in your mind. What does that mean to you? Feel it. Okay. And then honor yourself. And honor and give yourself a minute to think about your accomplishments so far this year and really over the last year. We head down to the earth. Okay, come on down. You can come down in a squat, however, you want to get down into the floor. And then just settle in for a moment, sitting back.
up or down, bring your forehead to the floor. down all the way down we're gonna do a bow pose full bow we prepped our body so reach back for the for each foot or ankle flex your foot see what happens tonight hold on start to kick your feet right into your hands and leave your thighs down squeeze your shoulders and look down just to keep kicking keep kicking and keep stretching forward through them through the chest as you squeeze your shoulder blades together Right, then come out of it a minute and then do it again. Kick your hands into your feet. Kick your feet into your hands. Shoulder blades squeeze together and the, sh and the front of the body is kind of soft. Now begin to lift your legs up, kick and lift, kick and lift, kick and lift. And think about expanding and stretching. Take a breath, breather in and out. And then relax. And go one more time. Kick first, kick first, open the chest, gaze forward, press your chest forward, and then lift the legs. Kick and lift, kick and lift, kick and lift. Stretch, three, breathe, sip your air. Breathe, full breath, two, and one, and then to the floor. Make a pillow, look off to the right. To the left. And then come back to center. Walk your legs back together. We're going to do that move where we round and coil the spine on your forearm, on forearms, okay? So it really, really feels good. And we're going to try to work our way all the way up to dolphin. So interlace your fingers, press down through the forearms and look straight down. Knees are gonna stay down. Round your spine, round your spine all the way up and hold it there. And then I want you to come back down again. Hold that long spine all the way down, back into forearm. Do it again. Push down through your knees. This time we're gonna stay up. So push your, push your knees down, lift your hips, round your spine. Push down, round your spine. You'll get it. And then walk your knees in. Walk your knees in, walk your knees in. Let's take a dolphin pose. Palms are, or you got a nice interlaced um, fist. Your forearms are down, your feet are flexed. Walk your knees in, closer, closer, closer. And then press and use that same core power and leg power. Relax your head, take a breath. For dolphin, you just want to relax your torso, push down to your arms and forward, and just kind of sway your hips. Try to straighten your legs, keep, keep your, walk your feet in a little closer, bend and straighten your legs, relax your head, your head's not touching the floor, you should be able to move it around. We got one more full breath in here. And then float those knees down and walk yourself back up onto your knees. Ustrasana. Press your knees forward and flex your feet. Coming into camel. So take your fist right there at the top of your booty, the top of your glutes. Push your hips forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and push your hips forward. Good. Heart is open. Same thing here. Open your heart. Lift your heart, eyes up, head back. Take a breath. Exhale. Chin to chest if that's too much on your neck, but keep broadening. Keep lifting your chest up. Open here, hips forward, breathe in. One more. comes to chest and then 
Bring your hips down to your feet. Walk your knees in. Make yourself a nice little compact shape. And palms right there on the top of your thighs. If you can't come all the way into, 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 into a deep sit here, just walk up. If your knees don't work that way, just walk up and do this. And then walk your knees over and we're going to all meet onto our booties into seated. If you have a ball or a bolster blanket, you might want to pull it in for a pigeon to prop. Just have yourself a seat for a second. Scoot yourself forward. We're going to counter, counter pose a little bit with some core and then we'll move right into pigeon. Round your spine. And take yourself down, C-curve yourself all the way down, placing each vertebrae down one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And then we'll pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Take your inside grip on those feet and do a little happy baby. You want to slide your fingers to the big toes and do extended happy baby. That might feel good after tonight's work. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Right leg's gonna, uh, both legs up. Take your right leg over your left, cross, come into eagle in the legs, and then we're gonna do eagle arms again, we're gonna do crunches right here. So right leg's on top, right arm goes on the underneath the left and make yourself an eagle right here. You're gonna crunch up, arms to legs, exhale, and then inhale back. Exhale, blow it out, inhale back, exhale, breath of fire, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time, exhale, and release. Flop down. Switch sides, both legs up, left leg, crosses over the top right, bend and interlace the best you can. Left arm under right, squeeze palms together. Ex inhale everything open, exhale, blow it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, through the nose, exhale, blow it out, inhale, exhale, squeeze it in, inhale. This time you're gonna hold, squeeze, inhale, three, two, one, and exhale. Good. Baddha Konasana, soles the feet together, put your knee, knee bones pressed down. Good. Press your soles of your feet together and you're going to do a little hip rock and raise, raises. All right, so the soles of the feet are pressing. Really press your soles. Palms are going to be flat. Use your arms and you're going to press your feet together as you lift up and come down. Lift and come, press down. Press down through the arms and just, if you can't get your hips off the ground at all tonight, that's okay. Just try, right? Soles press. That's the key. Three, two, exhaling each time you lift. One, and you're done. Knees, feet to the floor, knees knocked together, feet wide. Inhale, arms over the head. Okay, and relax. Ha. Ah. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. 